You can connect your Epson printer to your network in two ways, wireless or wired. This video shows you how to connect your Epson printer wirelessly. Before you start, there's a few things you need to check. Do I already have a network? First, make sure you have a network already set up. Your network may include one or more computers or an internet modem connected to a router. A router is a special box that all your devices connect to. In a wireless network, your devices talk to the router using radio waves instead of cables. Later, you will see how to add your Epson printer by connecting it to the router. Is my router wireless? Before making a wireless connection, check to see if your router has an antenna. If it does, then you can connect to it wirelessly. Some wireless routers may not have an antenna. Check to see if your router says it's wireless. Other names for wireless are 802.11 or Wi-Fi. What other information will I need? You'll also need to know your wireless network's name. This is called the SSID. The SSID was entered into your router when it was first set up. What security settings am I using? If you have wireless security turned on, you'll also need to know your security key. This is called the WEP key or WPA passphrase depending on the type of security you're using. Write down the SSID and security key in the network installation guide that came with your Epson printer. You'll need them during setup. If you don't have this information, ask the person who set up your network. Now let's set up your Epson printer and add it to your network. When you're done, you'll be able to print wirelessly from this computer. You can add the ability to print from another computer later on. First, load ink and paper. Follow the steps on the Start Here sheet. The Start Here sheet shows you how to physically set up your printer. When you get here, on the Start Here sheet, go to the Network Installation Guide. The rest of this video will show the steps you'll follow in the Network Installation Guide to finish your setup. To select your wireless network, you will use the printer's control panel. Press the Setup button to begin, then open the Network Settings menu. In the Network Settings menu, select Wireless LAN Setup, and then select the Setup Wizard. The Setup Wizard automatically finds any wireless networks in your area and lists their names on the screen. Select the name of your network in the list. This is the SSID that you wrote down in the Network Installation Guide. If your network uses wireless security, you'll also be prompted to enter your security key. This is the WEP key or WPA passphrase that you wrote down earlier. Use the up and down arrows to enter the first letter in your security key. For example, if the first letter is M, Press the up arrow until you see the letter M. Then move on to the next letter by pressing the right arrow. It may take a few minutes to enter all the letters like this, but you only have to do it once. If your security key has uppercase or lowercase letters, be sure to enter them correctly. To switch between uppercase and lowercase, or to type a number, space, or other special character, press the menu button. An indicator on the screen shows you the current selection. Uppercase, lowercase, or numbers and other special characters. Continue using the arrow keys like this to enter the rest of your security key. When you're done, press OK. Now confirm your network settings are correct by pressing OK. And then exit the setup menu by pressing the copy button. Wait for the printer to connect to your network. Once it's connected, you'll see the Wi-Fi light turn on on the printer's control panel. This can take up to 90 seconds. Install software. Insert the CD that came with your printer. 
Click Install to install your printer software. At this screen, select the option to install driver for network connection and click Next. Follow the instructions on the screen to install the software. This can take several minutes. When the software installation completes, click Next to start the network setup. At this screen, click Next to allow setup to continue. If you see an alert message from your firewall or anti-spyware software, be sure to select Unblock or Allow. Now wait while Epson Net Setup looks for your printer. When you see this screen, your installation is complete. Print a test page. To confirm your connection, click Print Test Page. When the test page prints, you'll know you were successful in setting up a wireless connection. After watching this video, see your network installation guide. All the steps in the guide are important, so be sure to follow them carefully.